In this hair tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this sweeping side part hairstyle with a double disconnection on my fade haircut. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to this new video. A new video, a new hair tutorial. I've, I've literally not done a hair tutorial in, um, in so long and I, I just wanted to get back to the good old days of chatting and playing with my hair. So I've decided to do this one because this is the kind of hairstyle that I've been wearing a lot on Instagram, you'll have seen it on, uh, on Instagram stories, and it's a hairstyle which is a lot lighter in terms of the silhouette, it's a lot more sort of uh, blended, it's not as harsh as the sort of classic quiffs that I do, and I actually think this one really suits the sort of new hairstyle that I've got. I'm growing out the sides a bit, so I put this on Instagram actually, so if you're not following me on Instagram, come and follow me, I'm going to do more of these sort of really short videos. But you can see here that I'm actually moved the fade placement line, so the fade was a really high fade, it was a zero fade, but I've moved it down and it just makes it a lot lighter, so it means I'm growing out a lot of the hair on the sides, just up to that recession line which is here, and then it's just going to be a lot smoother in the back. This hairstyle is just going to suit that a lot better. So there's a few things that you're going to need for this. The first one really is a blow dry spray and I'm using Fudge Tri Blow. You don't have to use this one but I like this one because it has got heat protectant up to 250 degrees I want to say, 235 degrees. Also it's great for shine, it protects and it also helps me to sort of build that shape in. But guys you can use any sort of blow dry spray. Don't use a sea salt spray, don't use anything with too much texture, but you want something that's just going to help to prep that hair. Second thing which is absolutely vital is a brush. Now I'm using a round curling brush, uh, this is also known as a quiff brush, and guys, we need the hair dryer. The hair dryer is really what is going to work with the product and the brush to help sort of build that style in. Then finally, the actual styling product you're going to use. I would recommend a sort of cream wax, so something that's quite light, not a clay, but something with a slight creamy texture, something that's maybe slightly waxy with a little bit of shine. The one I'm using is Patrick's S2. This Patrick's, you know, is a sort of pricey, I mean it is very pricey in terms of brand. I love this product though, I think it's really great. But again, you can use anything else. Right, first I'm just going to get the hair coated in this product. Uh, my hair is clean and it's been towel dried, still slightly damp, literally just washed it. Next we're going to grab that hair dryer. As I always say, medium heat, fast speed, and we're really gonna work it up. Really the trick in this is to be using that round brush and to be picking the hair up from the side that you want the parting on. So for me, it's the right. I do have a double disconnect so I can decide either side, but going this way gives me more volume. And I'm just gonna sort of pick the hair up and place it, curling slightly as I do. So the motion is picking, locking, and pulling. So it's almost like picking it up, going back on itself to lock it, and pulling through. Using the nozzle, really get a nozzle onto that hairdryer and blast it right on. That's helping to build that volume and start to set the hair into it. Here we go. the same with the fringe because we do want, as you saw at the start there, the hairstyle's going to be coming up and over and sitting down the front. So you're building. Don't neglect the back too guys, that's got to be totally dry. So work it through. Be careful when you're doing this that you're not over drying your hair. If your scalp is feeling hot or the hair is feeling like it's going to go on fire, then make sure you stop. Um, and also keep your hair dry moving, don't have it focus too much on one area, that will damage your scalp guys. The more height that you build on this side and place up and over means the bigger the top of the hair to then sit across. If you are just focusing on this side and just doing this, this is going to be very flat to the head. Really focusing the hair dryer with the brush onto that curl around the side. And I'm actually just wrapping it, wrapping it like so, picking up and placing. Okay, when you're happy with this, what I would say to do is to put it on a cold blast, cold blast of air on that hair dryer, or take the temperature right down. Taking the temperature down to blast into the hair is going to close the cuticle of the hair, it's going to add shine, it's going to go add gloss, and also it's going to help to really sort of cement that style into place. Ok, 
here you can see we've got all the volume into the here. That side part just needs to be neated up. Neated? Neatened up. But now this is where we're gonna grab that sort of creamier product, whatever you guys you are using. Take a little bit, don't go overboard with the product. And this really is, we've already got that style in with that product and the hairdryer, but this is just gonna help us to lock it in. So I'm gonna start on the parting, using one hand for the side, one hand for the top. Let's see if I can do this into a camera. And I'm just using the hands to part. And then with this, I'm pulling it over and voomfing, is that the word we're going with? Voomfing it, pushing it back, forward, and just really using the hands like a claw to shake the hair, because we want it to look quite loose. I don't want it to be like blocked, like the sort of quiff hairstyles I do. Shaking it, which breaks it up slightly. This is always like my top tips for stuff like this. Make it look effortless. Make it look like it's not been cemented against your head. But the reality is, this bad boy is not moving and it's gonna stay there. I always just use excess product on the sides. Truly sweep back at a diagonal action. Action, diagonal direction. It's gonna be close. And then the other one, just to smooth down the back. Final thing to do, you can hairspray it if you want, like if you've got fine hair, but if you've got thick hair that's just gonna do what it's told, um, grab a little bit more product and just take the flyaways off it with this, or you can do that with um, hairspray. Brushing at the surface, which catches the flyaways and places them. And really, I'm happy with that. It's kind of like my answer to the 90s. Um, all the volume in the front, but then it's just sitting quite neat. And this sort of style, I think, is perfect every day or for something a little bit more formal, but really it's using that double disconnected fade hairstyle that everyone has still got and just adding something a little bit different to it. Um, but that is it right there. I hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. Going back to sort of basics and back to the stuff that um, I started my YouTube channel on. I want to do more uh, hairstyles. There's, there's some big news coming up. I hate when people do that, drop the big news bomb. Um, but there will be some big news coming up which is going to totally change this channel. It's going to change the channel, it's going to change what you see. And hopefully it's going to sort of move us up slightly uh, into the kind of things that I can do with you. But thank you very much for watching. And um, I have linked all those products that I'm using and other sort of suggested ones more on a sort of budget level in the description below so you can check those out. And um, also make sure you come and follow me on Instagram. As I say, I'm going to be doing more sort of video content, just little bite sized bits that would be too short for YouTube. But if you're new to the channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, please do hit subscribe right now. The button's gonna be just up there. There's also more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them. Or guys, head to my blog, it's there, or my podcast, it's up there. All of those. But I'll see you in the next new video. It will be Thursday. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.